everyone so to begin this DIY I'm just going to talk you through how I will be putting all of my pieces together so to begin with we are going to start with the base and for the base I am using a metal round tray and a metal metal silver bowl now I don't know the exact measurement to this bowl all I can tell you is that when I saw them at the Dollar Tree there were three sizes a large medium and small and this was the larger size bowl so I'm going to take my bowl and turn it over just like that I will take some E6000 glue and apply it here to the top then I will take my round metal tray and I will turn that over and lay that down just like that now if you have any stickers just go ahead and remove those you will not see this if you don't but I like to remove them just the same so then I will apply a weight to this and let this dry overnight then I will be making two pedestals so um, I will be gluing them a little bit differently each pedestal um, in your package of burner covers you do get two now I did buy them in the rooster print but I think that I'm going to spray these with the metallic silver paint and primer that I will be spraying the glass candle holders in um, but if I did want to leave it this way it would be fine you really aren't going to see this since they will be facing down but just the same I want to finish it um, the way I want to finish it so I think I will be spraying them with the me metallic spray but again you do get two a larger and a smaller one the larger one is going to be placed at the bottom so this pedestal I'm going to glue it so that the first candle holder is right side up and then I take my second candle holder turn it upside down and place it on top like that okay so the wider part is at the bottom and I'm just doing this one in that way because since the large burner cover is a larger size it's just going to be sturdier for the smaller one that sits above so once I have that like that I take my E6000 glue again apply a bead to the top all the way around then I take my first glass plate candle holder and then center that and that is my first pedestal now with my second pedestal we have the smaller burner which is this one here burner cover and um, because it is smaller I'm going to take my first candle holder and I'm going to actually turn it upside down okay and then I will take the second candle holder and then I will apply the E6000 glue here and then I will place the second one so that it's facing right side up so this one will look like that just because that second burner cover is smaller and I want to be able to have um, the most space that I can in that burner cover to set the items that I want to set down and because again it is smaller this one here I don't feel needs to be as wide it's really sturdy um, it's sturdy enough placing it in this way So then I will again take my E6000 glue, apply some glue to the top of this, then I will take my second glass plate candle holder um, and then just place that, center that directly on top. And those are my two pedestals with my base to my DIY. I will let this completely dry overnight and then tomorrow I will take them outside and then spray paint all the items that need to be painted
All right, everyone, so it is now the next day, and everything has dried very nicely overnight. Everything's firmly in place. So now I'm going to take the two pedestals and the two burner covers outside, and I'm going to give them two coats of the paint and primer from Krylon in metallic silver. Okay, so I spray painted my items, which is the pedestals and the burner covers. They've dried quite nicely. And so now I'm going to work on attaching my clothes pins to the perimeter of the small and large burner covers. So I'm just going to take my burner cover, flip it upside down. I will be using my E6000 glue as well as my hot glue. And I'm just going to apply it to the outside of this rim. You could apply it to the outside or inside, whichever you prefer. Then I'm just going to take my clothes pins and clip them on. And then once I have completely gone around the perimeter, I will again let that dry for a good amount of hours, at least for four to six hours, even better overnight. So um, also I'm going to leave my clothes pins just as they are. Um, you will see once these have been completely covered in the clothes pins, it looks like a bushel. And so I really liked the look of it and decided to and decided to keep them just as they are but you could should you decide to make this you could spray paint them you could use acrylic paint I even think if you whitewash them it would give it a really nice farmhouse look but again I will just be leaving mine as they are so it's time to get to gluing Here you can see I have finished attaching all the clothes pins to the burner covers and this is the larger one and here I have the smaller one and as you can see it does resemble a bushel and I think it looks absolutely darling. So now I am going to begin assembling our two tiered farmhouse tray. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by taking the larger burner cover and turning this upside down. Then I will take the base that I made, which was the metal tray and the metal bowl, and I'm going to turn this upside down as well so that the bowl is facing up. I will take my E6000 glue as well as my hot glue and I will just apply it generously to the bottom of this burner cover. Then I will center the base. I will apply a weight to the inside of the metal bowl and then I will let that dry. Okay, next I am going to attach my pedestal to the bottom of the smaller burner cover. So I'm going to take the smaller one and I'm going to turn that upside down. And then I will take my first pedestal and this is the one that has the wider base on the bottom. This is the one that will be sitting inside the larger burner cover. And I'm just going to flip this upside down And then I will take my pencil, I'm just going to center it as best I can, and then I'm just going to mark all the way around. So this way, when I apply my glue to the 
glass um, candle holder, then I won't have to be playing around with it and then messing up the glue on the bottom. I'll know right where I need to put it. I'll put it in place and then I will let that dry. So now the next thing I need to do is I need to glue this piece here inside of the larger burner cover and then I need to take this pedestal here and then turn it over and then glue it inside of this top tier. So what I did, because I don't usually like just applying glue to the pedestal or whatever it is I'm gluing and then placing it in because a lot of times um, especially if it's something that you're going to be seen you can get into a lot of mess with the glue so what I did was I just went ahead and took a separate glass candle holder that I have on hand and I roughly eyeballed where the center of the burner cover is once I pretty much figured um, the center point, I just took my pencil and then outlined the base of the candle holder. This way, when it is time to go ahead and glue this piece into here, I know where it's going to go and there's going to be less mess. If there is any glue that spills out, I just quickly take a wipe and wipe it up and everything is good. So I went ahead and traced out my center point here as well. I took my candle holder, did the same thing. I turned it upside down because this pedestal will be going upside down. So the uh, smaller end will be glued into the burner cover. Again, I just placed it in there, roughly eyeballed the center. Then I just marked, marked it out with my pencil and now I'm going to glue everything together. So I am waiting for the piece to dry but I actually had a thought that came to me and I will probably list this as an optional item, but I remembered that I, w I had bought in some door pulls at the Dollar Tree a while back and these are three inch door pulls. And I thought it would be a really neat idea to add these to the side of the top and bottom burner. Um, this way it will give it more of a basket feel and um, again I will just include this as optional I think the piece looks just beautiful as it is but this is just taking it um, up another notch so these door pulls are in gold and I would like them to be in silver so I'm gonna have to go out and spray these quickly and um, Hopefully they will be dry enough to add these handles on at the same time as I will be gluing that second pedestal and then I will let everything dry overnight. So um, hopefully if it works out when I show you the reveal these handles will be on this DIY. Okay so as you can see everything is coming together very nicely. Now I went ahead and placed my rock uh, my salt lamp um, to the inside of this tier and I'm going to let this dry for about two to three hours now I place this in here because it is heavy and it acts as a great weight and um, this way everything is nice and tight and we should get a really good bond now after the two to three hours I'm going to remove the salt lamp 
and I already have my marking in place for my second pedestal so I'll just apply some E6000 glue and a bit of hot glue and then I will place this in the center and I will let this dry overnight. Okay everyone, so here is my three-tiered farmhouse stand and I absolutely love how this has turned out. Now I just want to point out a couple of things. I did end up putting the handles on the sides of the two tiers. I am so glad that I did because I really do think that it makes it look more so like a bushel. It did look great without it, but um, I'm glad that I did put them on. Uh, now those handles, I did purchase them at Dollar Haven. I thought I purchased them at Dollar Tree, but um, they, uh, they did come from Dollar Haven. But again, I put that as an optional item, just as a little bit of extra um, um, decor to add to this piece. Um, it's not really for lifting it. Um, I did use the E6000 glue, so it's on there pretty good. But because these are attached to closed pins, um, I, I wouldn't really lift it from the handles. I would just lift it from either the uh, pedestals that I made or from the base, just to be on the safe side. But um, I absolutely love how it turned out. And what I love about using the clothespins is that, um, as you can see, I did attach some Dollar Tree copper LED, the wire lights. And it's so neat because you could just loop it through and um, they, they just look so beautiful. And when I have this in my kitchen or most likely in my kitchen if I'm using it as a coffee station, at nighttime it's just gonna look great because it's gonna light up the area and it just adds a little more to an already I think very beautiful piece so I'm so happy with how this turned out um, I love at the very bottom as well um, by using the metal bowl and the metal um, silver plate it just really gives it more of a um, more expensive look um, being that I did use clothespins but uh, it just turned out beautiful and as you can see I have it set up as a coffee station but you could use it for so many things at the very top here I um, placed my uh, this was a previous DIY that I did I will post the link to that video in the description box below if you care to see it it is my Dollar Tree Ray Dunn um, bowl that I made and it works perfectly with this. I put some K cups inside of there. I also made another one that said tea um, and another one that said cocoa. So you could also make this as a hot cocoa station for the fall and winter months. But um, I at the bottom here, as you can see, I have, these are the Dollar Tree mugs, the white ones that look like the milk glass that have the dimples or the little bumps that are all over the mug. I actually have three of them in here right now. Um, and so as you can see, there is three, and these are huge mugs, but you could definitely fit five comfortably in here. But I just placed three and then I put some forks and spoons with a little um, candle stand and a little pumpkin sitting on the top. And then at the very top I just put some instant coffee, some creamer, some honey, um, 
some napkins, some paper plates, and of course this Dollar Tree bell, which is so cute that says ring for service. And then again, my coffee um, Ray Dunn um, bowl or Dollar Tree bowl and with the K-Cups in it and it fits quite a bit actually. So I am so pleased with how this has turned out. Now again, definitely you can use this um, for other things. I was almost thinking of using it in my bedroom to place all my perfumes inside. Um, or you could just use it for decoration purpose. Um, I will insert a picture at the end how I decorated it with some pumpkins. Okay, so here I have switched it out to a decor piece all decked out for fall and I absolutely love it everything that you see here with the exception of the handles that I purchased at Dollar Haven and of course the spray paint um, but definitely you could use the Dollar Tree's silver metallic acrylic paint and you'd get the exact same look if you wanted to keep this completely Dollar Tree. It is so so pretty. I just thought I'd include this little clip to show you what it looks like for fall. And this cute little sign of course from the Dollar Tree as well where I wrote Happy Fall Y'all. But I mean, the possibilities are endless. It's just such a beautiful piece, and it's great to know that you can use it for many different ways. And I'm just so pleased with how it turned out, and I hope all of you enjoyed this DIY. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, guys, take care, and I hope to catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.